This won't take long. It's taking way too bloody long, mate. I've got things to do. It's just too late to be wandering around in the dark trying to find this band of interesting people. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go to bed and start again in the morning. Let's hope I get a little further than I did last night. No rope across the road. Uh, oh. Okay, I stripped his body, but I didn't actually... Yeah, I didn't see his weapon. It was a bit dark, and I was... It was a decorated shield. You know what? I can keep those. Yes, I can. Um, Let's place the... And his sword was indeed poisoned. Yes. Not that uh, I had any doubt. Take his shield as well. Maybe we need it as proof. I do need to go and see the blacksmith. I've had a bit of a lazy morning. I, I, I sort of felt like I earned a bit of a lie-in. Got out of bed at about 8 o'clock, which is, you know, pretty late. And then uh, went and repaired all my stuff, had a bath. Yeah. The usual sort of thing is... No, this is not the one. I need to find the shrine. So it's a little later than normal. I also wanted the tailor to repair something, and the tailor gets out of bed ridiculously. Ridiculously yeah. late. Yes, he does. Yeah. However, I'm rested, I'm healed, I'm clean and shiny. Good day! And I'm now heading off yeah. to meet Sir Radzig's new men, who I believe... Is this the camp? I think it is. I'd say that was a yes. I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for Sukuno. Okay. Sukuno. Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? <sighs> you won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, so Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No, more like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. I'll introduce you to the other fellas. And the chief. Gay. Okay. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. These are the men? To make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Kobola. Ah, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way around these parts. Leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot nose brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit, and they thank you with back talk. 
Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right. Well, as I said to Radzig, I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. Oh. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. I still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. Is that going to be a thing no, then, getting my name wrong? Are we using wooden swords? Okay. So now you're done for. Alrighty. If you say so, you might want to do a little better than that. You You were. Oh no no no. Oh, all right. Okay. He's not. He's not that. Don't 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 get cocky. Come on then. Oh. oh! And. Oh no. Conda! Conda! Where the hell are you from? Cast it! Come on then! Oh, that had to hurt. And oh, oh, nice one. What were you about to say? Sorry, I was too busy kicking your backside. <laughs> and oh no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Combo galore. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. You didn't fare badly at all. I must mm. say. You badly. Can ride with us. All right. Good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> Didn't fare badly. Kicked his backside. Um. Sir Kuno, can you tell me something about yourself? Drop the sir. That title brought me nothing but grief. But what do you want to know? I kind of like this guy. Sir Radzig told me the Rickvold family... Um, lost its wealth. How did that happen? There's all sorts of ways to become impoverished. Nothing easier. Especially when your father's a fool and your mother's mad as a bat. Oh. But it's a long and twisted story. We took our name from Rickval Castle, but that actually belonged to the convent of the poor Clares in Tynitz. And my father only leased it. You see, he knew the abbess there since they were young. Knew her very well. There was even talk that she only joined the order because her family wouldn't let her marry him. Anyway, whether he was fucking her right there in the convent or he just took a lot of interest in scripture, he spent an awful lot of time in Tynitz. Okay. One of your men keeps uh, say, calling my name and saying, come on, I want a word with you. Could, could you go slap him and tell him not to interrupt when we're chatting? Maybe a bit of both. Some people are simply devout. Eh. <laughs> Oh, he might have been after a bit of both. Sinning and confessing all in one place. Well, I can see the convenience of it. Anyway, my mother never had strong nerves. Truth be told, her sanity was always shaky. Pa's escapades drove her cuckoo entirely. Then, one frosty December morning, I was woken by screaming and smoke. I looked out the window. And I saw my mother there in the courtyard wreathed in flames. Behind her, the stables, the farm buildings and the tower were burning too. And she just stood there, shrieking with laughter. 
Christ. Bloody Sounds hell. Sounds like a scene straight out of hell. Hellish it was, I can tell you. Me and my sister Adela and a few servants managed to get out before the whole place went up. I couldn't get to my father. Or my little brother. Poor lad was only seven. My sister and I were left destitute after the fire. <laughs> then my cousin, Adam of Drevich, took us into his castle. A few weeks later, he offered to buy what was left of our estates and sell me a small fortress near Akovnik. It was a great relief. We suddenly had some hope of a future again. So I told my sister about it. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. A week later, the two of them announced to me they were getting married. And all that was left of our estates, lands, woods, villages, Adela was to get it all as a dowry. But surely that was for you to decide. You were the head of the family, right? Aye. Only I barely had 17 years under my belt, and I'd just lost everything. Of course, I argued with them. And that was the only excuse they needed to kick me out of Drevich too. <sighs> That's pretty harsh. You're telling me. But I'm not complaining. As my pa always used to say, if you can turn your hand to something, you never be lost. I doubt it ever crossed his mind how often I'd remember those words. Okay, I like this. Uh, about, yeah, could, could, could we talk about the members of your band? Oh, God, can I just... Can we, can we just, can we just talk in a minute? Who the hell is calling my name all the bloody time? Hey, Henry, I'd like a word with you. Wasn't you, was it? D was it you? Was it you? Henry, come here. <sighs> what is it, Jakey? The stone wants to talk with you, if you can call it that. Probably about that ring. What ring? Ah, no one told you about it. The fellas call it the Ring of Bakus. It's a kind of game we play. Kuno gave us this ring. It's just a worthless bauble. But when we're at the tavern, Kuno pays everything thing for the man who has the ring. So we steal the ring from each other and try to trick each other. Well, actually, just the others. They won't let me play. Kuno says I'm too young to get boozed up. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. But I don't have the ring, so why does the stone want to see me? He probably wants you to steal it from someone. Since you're new, the fellows will talk to you and it won't be suspicious. All right, I'll have a word with him. Okay, all right. The Ring of Bacchus. Talk to the stone in the encampment. All right, while we're here... Hey, Jakey, can you tell me something about yourself? Want to get matey, eh? Sure, Henry. What do you want to know? About that. How did you end up in Kuno's band? Well, I used to be a baker's hand in Prague, but all the other fellas were always on my back, always swearing at me. Sometimes they even beat me up, took everything I had. To make a bit of coin, I started going to the tavern across the road, entertaining the rich gents with jokes, playing the fool. Sometimes someone would throw me a half groschen. One time, Kuno turned up there, and I got to talking with him. When I told him all the shit I was getting at the bakery, he offered to take me with him. Hmm. I bet you were glad to get out of there. Yeah, though it's not like they give me much peace here either. It's all, Jakey, come here. Jakey, go there. Jakey, get that. Uh, it could be worse than the bakery? Why, why were they bullying you? How come they bullied you at the bakery? It's usually the shy ones bullies pick on. That's not exactly you. Not now, maybe. I learned a thing or two since then. Oh, come on, you, shy? You just said you were playing the fool and telling jokes in the tavern. All right, I'll tell you the truth. They picked on me because I'm an orphan. The parish priest of St. Apollinaire's in Prague found me as a baby in the church one winter's morning. I spent half my childhood in parish houses and half on the street. I see. That must have been tough. It still is tough, I can tell you that. Right. Every single person here is going to have had a fairly hard life, aren't they? I mean, let's face it, that kind of includes me now. Well, surely you can't be any worse off here than in the bakery. No, only at the bakery, the worst I ever got was a beating. It's not like my life was in danger. But here, when those Beerman brothers are drunk, I have to keep well out of sight. 
Right. Yeah, so so those guys are trouble. Got it. You want me to talk to the stone? I'm guessing it's a good idea I get to know everyone. I've still got a conversation to complete with uh, Kuno. Pet a bit. God save you, Henry. Oh, thank you very much. Tell me something about yourself. What do you want to know? Uh... That. How did you and Jan end up with Kuno? Me and my brother been riding with coin men since we was little. This was just another mercenary band for us. But Kuno seemed like a decent kind of fellow who'd treat us fair. Oh, okay. Not a lot going on there then. And... Oh. Okay, that was weird. Jan! Can you tell me something about yourself, Jan? Why not? I haven't been to confession for a while. <laughs> uh. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Well, to tell the truth, I'd never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> and the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. We might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby, and Petter hardly walking. Playing in the dirt together, we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took us away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. That's the way it's been ever since. Over and over. So you two never had... Well, um... A normal life. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has been. All right. How did you end up in Kuno's band? Ah, it's nothing new for me and my brother. We've been fighting for coins since we were old enough to carry swords. Last time we rode with one Lombardian by the name of Collini. All over Bavaria, Austria and that. What happened? Did you fall out? Nah, we just wanted to come back to Bohemia. You know how it is. When no one understands a word you say, it ain't worth a damn. Okay. They seem oddly... Okay, I was expecting a bit of insanity, to be honest. Did I see the guy I fought wandering... Over here, or has he just wandered back? Probably wandered back at this point. So. Oh, there he is. No, that's the. I'm going to talk to you last. I say talk. You know. No, that's Jake. Alright. Uh. Sakuna, I, I, I'm going to chat to you in a second. I'm just. Uh, Getting to know who I'm dealing with here. Oh, he's up there. Okay, is he, is he the lookout then? Is he on lookout duty? Dangler! Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you want to know? Uh, why you talk like that, for a start? Why do they call you Dangler? Because Kuno found me dangling on the end of a rope. Ah. I see. So, um... He saved you from execution? I wouldn't call it an execution, exactly. At the time, I was squire to the Lord of Buzitz. There was a proper night for you. Full of ideals and honour. I looked up to him as a hero. Then in one skirmish, he was killed, and the foe took me captive. They stood me on a shaky wooden cross with my hands tied behind my back and a noose around my neck. For amusement. Then they rode off laughing. But how long were you stuck there? I couldn't tell you. Hours. Maybe days. In the end, everything started going black. I could feel the devil pulling me down by the legs. Jesus! How on earth did you survive? I didn't. When Kuno found me, he says I was dead as a doornail. They cut me down and took the rope off me. Then someone gave me a kick and I coughed and came back to life. Sort of. 
Okay, so you must have just died or something, like, or not been quite. Whew, that kind of sucks. So he used to work for a, a proper honourable knight. All right. And you, an odd-looking fella, if you ask me. I mean... How are you, Henry? Okay, Stephen Fletching, I'm going to assume an archer. Stefan, can you tell me something about yourself? Stefan. Uh, where is it you want to know, youngster? Okay. Where are you from, for a start, but... I'm curious how you ended up in Kuno's band. You notice I don't exactly fit in with this pack of felons and reprobates, huh? Little. Unfortunately, you can't always choose your company, can you? <laughs> no, I suppose not. But how did you come to be with them? Oh, well, I'd love to tell you, but Kuno insisted we keep that between the two of us. And I'm not one to break a confidence. Oh. But... Well, Kuno said it was you who wanted to keep it secret. Uh, really? <laughs> Are you sure about no, that? No, he didn't. You must have misunderstood I it. haven't... No, I don't think so. At least... Oh, never mind. So, where did you I should have spoken to Kuno first. What did you do? I used to live in a town before. Back there I was doing something very different. Although... Now I think of it... Maybe it wasn't that different in a way. If you know what I mean. Actually, I haven't the foggiest idea what you mean. Not really, no. You don't give anything away, do you? Me? <laughs> I'm an open book, lad. Ask me anything you like and I'll give you an honest answer. Go on! Uh, maybe another time. My head's starting to spin. As you wish. Shame, though. There's nothing I enjoy more than conversing. Oh, okay, then. So, I've spoken to everyone except the stone. Uh, and and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of assuming that I should speak to him later, because speak is the wrong word. It sounds like he has a task for me. Uh, tell me something about yourself. Go on, yeah. Let's let's get back. To, right, we spoke about your family. Did we not finish every option? I don't think we did. How come you owe Sir Radzig? Yes. What about your debt to Sir Radzig? How did that come about? A twist of fate, lad. I was fighting in the hostilities between the house of Schallenberg and the town of Colleen. Some trade dispute it was. And I fought under the Schallenberg colours. In the end, the two sides negotiated a truce, and I rode to Colleen with the delegation that was to parlay there. We stopped off at an inn on the way, and it was there that I met Radzig Kobila. I could tell at first sight he was a man after my own heart. A likeable rogue, with a sharp mind and a merry soul. We spent the whole night drinking together and talking, and in the morning we set off together with sore heads, but in good temper since he was travelling the Colleen, same as I was. Only, once we reached the city gates, they arrested me on the spot. <laughs> Seems the burghers had it in for me, since I'd been making their lives hell for a good six months. On the other hand, I was a member of the peace delegation, so by rights, they shouldn't have even looked at me sideways. And then it hit me why Radzig was there. Colleen is a royal city, so he was there to represent the king's interests. I see. So he was on the other side. That's right. Anyway, they threw me in a dungeon, and a few days later, word reached me that the Schallenbergs had reached an agreement with the Burgers. Only part of the deal was they would give them my head. And I'd surely have ended my day swinging from the town battlements if it hadn't been for Radzig. He liked me, and he could see it was a dirty trick, so he somehow squared things with the city council. Lucky for you. Indeed. I owe my life to Radzik, and I'll never forget it. He's asked me twice before for help. This is the third time, and how could I refuse him? Okay, third time. I'm kind of curious about the first two. All right, let's... I'd like to ask about your men. Ask away. Because i, I got to get to know you all, obviously. Um, let's just, yeah, start What the about top. the fellow they call Dangler? I've never ridden with a better man, I can tell you. He doesn't say a lot, but for that, he listens all the better. Nothing escapes him. So he scouts for you? Not just that. It's happened more than once. I was closing a deal with someone, and Dangler told me after 
that he didn't like the smell of the fellow. Nearly every time he was right. And the fellow tried to stab me in the back afterwards. All right, so he's a good judge of character. Those Behrman brothers are quite a pair. Indeed they are. There's no more mercy in them than in... Well, a bear. If I told them to skewer you on the spot, they'd do it without batting an eyelid. Jesus. Oh, I. They'd argue first about which one of them got to do the job. But they're as obedient as a huntsman's dogs. Real soldiers, the pair of them. Reliable. As long as they don't get too drunk. Then there's no keeping them under control. But nobody's perfect. Right. What can you tell me about Stefan? Fletching? For one thing, he's a very resourceful fellow. How did he come to join your band? Well, let's just say he was in the right place at the right time. You'll find he has quite a knack for that. Well, what exactly happened? Sorry, I'd love to tell you the whole story, but I'd be betraying his trust. Oh, now you've got me curious. Maybe I should ask him myself. Sure, why not? Our Fletch does love to converse. Yes. No idea what's going on there. Uh, what about Jakey? Jakey? That boy will be the death of me. You've got to be tough on him, or he's good for nothing. But I'm fond of him, in a way. Like a son? I wouldn't go that far. But I've no family of my own. And unlike those other cutthroats, he seems to me like... Like a good lad. Well, you're pretty hard on him, though. And the others keep him on his toes, too. The boy needs a firm hand. I was like him once, and I got the same, too. If we let him be, we'd end up with a third bear man. And who'd want that? Hmm, <laughs> true. Two is more than enough. Okay, and finally... What about that dumb one? How did he end up with you? The stone? Oh, he just kind of tagged along. Just like that? Aye, just like that. We were riding from Olomots to a castle past Kladsko when we ran into him and some other wayfarers camping along the way. You know how it goes. We made acquaintance with them, had a drink or two. Then we travelled on together. After all, there's safety in numbers. I'm not sure I'd be thinking that if I ran into you lot on the road. We might have done some things I ain't proud of. But wayfarers are sacred even for me. Anyway, our fellow travellers dropped off along the way. One in Mohelnitz, one in Schoenberg, and the rest in Kladsko. Except for the stone. He stuck with us the whole way. The fellas kept asking him what he was after. But of course, he never said a word. When we were approaching Barsdorf, I ordered the men to get rid of him. I had some business at the castle, and I didn't want any strangers sticking their noses in. Stefan tried to tell him nicely. We just sat there, staring like he was turned to stone. That's when we gave him the name. Then the Bearman brothers tried to get him off his horse. He booted Jan in the face and knocked him out cold. Then he jumped down and fell Petter with one punch. Oh, a man who can do that is a man you want on your side. So we kept him. Weren't you worried about having a stranger in your band? Especially one who didn't talk. No, I figured if he can't talk, he can't tell. Besides, I've had worse. Okay then. Um, I guess that's it for getting to know everybody. Okay, before we um talk to Kuno about going on some sort of mission, let's just talk to the stone about this game, The Ring of Bacchus. Jakey sent me to you. Something about a ring? Mm-hmm. I suppose you want me to get it from someone? Mm. Who has it? <coughs> okay. Um wait, someone who had right, okay, the was was this Dangler? Does Dangler have it? Hmm. Alright. How should I get it? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. So I need to sort of chat to Dangler. 
and somehow try to convince him to give me the ring or it because if it's pick pocket him i'm like you know not gonna happen uh i need the ring <laughs> hey, let's give it a go hey i want the ring of bacchus i heard you have it so you come and ask me for it well, that's a novel approach well you don't just have to steal it from each other why not play for it? No, I don't play dice. But we can duel for it. Ooh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Why not? I'll wager the ring, and you put up some groschen, all right? Sure, sure. 200, that's nothing. Yeah. Sure. I'll wager that. I'm loaded, mate. Mm, that'll do it. Well, now it's something worth fighting for. So you better watch out. Oh, all right. Are you saying you're going to be tougher this time? Is that what you're saying? Huh? Oh. Psy Okay, I'm on then. Oh, nicely done. Oh, what? Oh, is he, is he doing better this time? Oh, we bring it on. Is this because of money? Oh, no, come on. Fairly sure he's getting the better of me this time. Oh, thought I had the combo. Oh, I got it that time. Oh, oh. Come on! <laughs> Give me the ring. Oh, fair fight. Well, I don't like giving it up. Well, at least I won't get so plastered next time. Just watch how it doesn't get pinched. Oh, you mean someone's got to pinch I'll it from do me, don't you? Thanks. <laughs> yes. Excellent! So I've got to make sure someone else doesn't pinch it. All right then. However, take the ring of Bacchus to the. St what? Am I just going to give it to the stone basically as a favor to get on his good side? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah, why not? I mean, let's face it, I can afford my own drink. I got the ring from Dangler. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, uh, I suppose there's not much more either of us can say about it. Mm -mm. <coughs> What's he doing? Uh, yeah, thanks to you too. Did he give me something? Parted with the Ring of Bacchus. Uh, silence is golden and other myths. Woo! The ring is as sought after as the Holy Grail. Let's see who'll want it now. Oh. <laughs> Someone else is going to ask me to get it from him, and I'm probably not going to be able to fight him. Or oh, can I? Maybe I can fight them all. Anyway, you know what? Let's go on patrol. Should we ride out? Aye. We ought to set out on patrol about now. Hope you've got your kit ready and whatnot. Ooh. I'd like to head to the north. Is there anything interesting that way? North of here. Uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way. And Talmberg is a bit further Ooh, on. I need to go to Samapesh. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. I feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go. Sure. Chief. All right. Yeah, I need to go to Samapesh. <coughs> I don't know why, but that looks funny. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ride out on... Yeah, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Pebbles is doing his or her own thing here, believe it or not. What a fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this? Okay, yeah? now he's stopped. Mm. All right. 
the scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides? Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills, rising, pertly, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below, spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall and erect. Aye, it reminds me of that day. That day, where the two of us fucked Fletcher's ma. <laughs> I was waiting for it to go <laughs> that way. Because they were being Make a bit... A stuffed bird laugh. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> All right. I stuffed them myself. <laughs> I can't smell any chamomile. Well, men, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh? How's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined me. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the tavern who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey? Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girls' sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours, then? All right. I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry. There will be plunder. We're here to fight. And to the victor, the spoils. That's how it's always been. But no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want. Moan all you want. But nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader. Who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Chief. Smoke. I think there's something going on over there. Let's go. Behind me and keep your eyes peeled. Behind you? Oh, okay. All right, I'll 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 try, but Pebbles sometimes has a mind of, of uh, his own. And, uh, you know, if, if he suddenly decides to leap, you are kind of, you're all... Traveling at like a bit of a well slow pace, if you don't mind me saying. I'm having to keep. What do you think we can expect this time, fellas? Groshen, hidden in a piss pot under the bed. All right, where the hell are we? Nice chunk of beef. No one there will be eaten. On account of it, it just fall out through the holes in their bellies. Hey, brother. Gotta stay behind him. <laughs> I'm not recognizing this place. Uh, where exactly were we going? We were going towards Meherjed. Were we? Oh, God, you know what? I'll figure it out later. Burnt Out Farm. We've discovered the burnt out farm. Where is that? I'm not seeing a burnt out farm. Oh, you know what? We'll figure it out. Search the burnt right. Poor old Fletch never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? Fine. Futility in Alright. Jesus Christ, what a massacre. Oh, I think I remember passing through this place. They weren't even armed. Yeah, this reminds me very much of the uh, attack on Scallets. <sighs> Looks like it happened fast. Are we looking at the arrows? Give us a clue. We can't be all that clever or they'd have taken the wagon. God almighty. Okay. 
Okay. Bit of a mess, but I'm not seeing anything that might... Okay, that was a little unexpected as well. Nothing here. Okay, you're checking over there, are you? Oh. Can I inspect this? Doesn't look like it, does it? I sort of got the feeling for a second I had something to look at. Oh. Wow. Poor rat. They killed the dog as well. Mind you, I suppose the dog's probably going to have attacked them. That's not... No. Okay. A dagger, a crest on a shield. Uh, Kino will want to know about this. Yes, he will. House of Zool? Really? The House of Zool. Okay. Just, 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 just. Uh, the House of Zool shield. Good defense. Pre Ooh. Okay. Not as good as mine, and it's not as good charisma. It's very bright blue as well. Um, but there was also a letter. What? Here we go. Oh. <coughs> Tell Kuno what you discovered. Radzig Kobula, you unscrupulous beast devoid of Christian morals, I accuse you. You abandoned all honour and virtue when you perpetrated acts of cruelty and malevolence against me and my forebears. I call you a cur for committing these vile deeds, which you certainly remember well. I challenge you to face me in a duel, as befits knightly virtue, to desist from cowardly concealment behind castle walls and to defend your honour and that of your house, as behoves noble status. If you decline to do so, I will make travel this land and... Tr I will travel this land and truthfully make known to all that you are an ignominious wretch, unfit for the company of decent men, and I shall have your shield nailed to the pillory as a mark of shame. Yes, says the man that's wandering around butchering innocence. I swear before God that I act justly bound by by my family honour and perpetrate against you only that which you deserve. My grievance is only against you, but the longer you hide from me in a cowardly manner, the longer shall I maraud and plunder in this province. Be it on your own head. Signed on June the 2nd in the year 1403 by, by Sir Hagen Zool. Okay then. No signs of resistance. They simply slaughtered them like animals. What is he... What is he doing? Before I speak to Kuno, what are you doing? Are you trying to bring that guy back to life or are you looting him? Are you looting him? All right. I, I mean, I mean... I'm not telling you off for that because... That would be somewhat hypocritical of me. Yes, it would. All right. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that crest. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot, God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened. Uh, uh yes, I, I will. I'd like to go looking for those raiders. I just... What do you know about these Zuls? A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I've no idea. Okay, I'd like to go looking for the Raiders. I'll go right away. I, I would like to do both. I'd like to, I would. You're not going to go for the Raiders without me. 
I thought I could go and search for those raiders. They might not have gotten very far yet. All right. It's always good to have an extra pair of eyes. We'll keep searching here for a while, and then head back to the camp. All right, so, so I can search around for raiders, and then I can go and report back to Saradzig. Yeah? What I need to do, though, of course, is find some clue as to where they went. Maybe you? Have you found anything? Did the raiders leave any tracks? Well, they came from the northwest. A horse or two and a few men on foot. Anything else? No, nothing. All right, so they came from the north west. Maybe I should just, just talk to everyone else in case there's any details I need to know. Uh, stop that right now. Fa you found anything interesting? Fuck all. They cleaned them out good and proper. But one fellow was still alive. Uh, uh. And did he tell you anything? Uh, he mumbled something about some Lord something. Zool, I think. Yeah. He could be the one who left this letter here. Oh, no, no. I, I also want to know what happened to him. Does he need, does he... Is this, is this the guy? Where, where is... I'm gonna guess he didn't make it. Hmm. Still smouldering. Whoever torched it can't have got very far. Oh, this means I probably need to get going soon then. All right, can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. And... Did you find any tracks? Some, a horse or two. They rode off through the meadow towards dawn. They were avoiding the road, which is interesting. They rode towards off towards dawn. Towards dawn. Meaning towards the east. East. Apart from the mounted ones, there were some men on foot too. So they came from the well northwest, but they down. headed out east. Well, they can't move too fast then. No. And what's more, they left a trail of blood. One or more of them might be wounded. Either that, or they dragged off some poor bastard from here. Nice work. Thanks. Okay. East is... Okay, that's... All right, I just need to... Where the hell am I? That's the that's the important thing. I know which way I'm going, but I need to find the burnt-out farmhouse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we came through here, and I'm, I think this is the farmhouse. There's a shrine here, so I need to be heading... Not along the road. They avoided the road, and they came from the northwest, which is from here. And that's where um, I spoke to Dangler. Yeah, I think. Assuming there's a shrine there. So they've they've headed east in this dirt. Yeah. Ooh, it could be anywhere. All right. Should I take... Let's just have a look. Was there a shrine... Yes, there's a shrine. All right, let's take... Let's take yeah. pebbles a little further. Row hunting spot. Yeah. Now, some of them were on horseback, which should mean... Oh. Poor creature. Hunted down like game. Okay, so they moved. Is that... What? And... Looks like they carried away a lot of stuff. Okay, do I want to bring... No, you know what? I'm going to leave pebbles there where I can find him. They went this way. Maybe I should tell you what. Seems they met some resistance at the farm. 
Ah, so some of them are actually injured. You know what, though? I, I, I remember I don't actually have my bow equipped. Oh, I could have brought some clothing better suited for tracking. Uh, what a waste. But at least I know which way they went. Yeah, follow the blood and abandoned loot. I see. Okay. Did I hear something? Is this them? There they are. Okay, there's a lot of them. Deal with them? Really? Deal with them. There's a lot of them. I mean, seriously? Deal with them? What's going on there? Okay. What's going on there? Do, do I just... Win it. Who's there? So you don't want to... Well, I was going to say it. I thought for a second you weren't going to fight. For the oh, there? oh, yes! Oh! What's oh, God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, slaughter you. Okay. Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. This was stupid. This was stupid. Yeah. Oh, beyond stupid. All right. Okay. I killed a couple of them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of these guys. Come on. No, I'm not. Oh, God. No. Bring it on. Oh, no. And I'm out of, st I'm out of stamina. Oh, no. No. I'm trying to turn, but I've got no stamina. Oh, no. Right, that's not going to work. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Get. Okay, one of them's dead. One of them's dead. One of them's dead. Oh, God. Oh no! The, 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 trying to get a surround me, trying to surround me. Run again! Run again! Run again! Oh god! It might be, it might be. Oh god, oh god. Come on! Oh, you'll get what? Run! I am so not going to do well here, am I? Not? Oh! Hit me in the back! Come here! Should have taken hurt. potions. It's what I should have done. Oh, get side! <laughs> What's the matter? Come on! Go! Oh. Here. Oh, been hit in the back. Oh. Oh, one's dead. One's dead. One is dead. One is. Oh. One is actually dead. Oh, nice. Oh, God. So don't, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Okay, in danger of getting cocky if he. Okay, no. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, I was trying to get the clinch. <laughs> well landed. Oh! 
Well, thank you for the compliment. <sighs> Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh. oh, nice block. Stabby, slashy, and oh, yes. Oh. I'm probably lost, though.